hello friends welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to show you how to make thumb brown this thumb brown is very nutritious for children and uh, for adult as well so i'm making it in a large quantity for my baby so this millet which i'm going to use for it this is the ingredients i'm going to use for it this is millet why this is soya beans already peeled with machine this is my yellow corn and this is my date i have removed the seed if you don't know what is it so let me show you what is it you can buy it from a, a, this mala people this is the date so this is this is, this is it i've removed the seed from here so this is it this is already what we are going to use for you and this is my groundnut all this i have i have washed all and sun it so the next what i'm going to do with it is just to fry to get that look of brown which is called tom brown so i'll be showing you how to fry it then after frying it i will take it to the machine where they will grind it to get that powdered form so this is the ingredients which i'm going to use for this tom brown let me show you. The, the quantity of this is half paint this one is half paint the millet is half paint the corn is half paint why this one is water paint so it's not much and the granite is like two cups the granite is not supposed to be much on it so that you knock so it, no, it will not start bringing out oil which you will not like in your tom brown it will not look good if the granite is much so you look you use small quantity of granite in making your thumb brown so the next thing i'm going to do is to show you how to fry it to get that brownish color which you want for your thumb brown so stay tuned and watch and if this is your first time of coming to my youtube channel please i would like to just give the video a thumbs up share this video for those that have children so that they will learn how to do it and in my next video i'll be showing how to make the pop and also how to make the swallow so this tom brand you can use it as swallow you can use it as pop so that is the benefit of it it is good it is that you can use it for children can use it adults can as well use it so let's go into the frying part so this is the millet and my pot which I'm frying. So this is how you continue stirring it till it turns brown to your liking. You continue stirring it. I am using big pot because my millet is big. So that is why I'm using big pot for it. So you continue stirring it. That is how you are going to do it one after the other until you fry all the ingredients which you are going to use for the tom brown. And you fry it to to the color which you desired. So a lot of some people use beans for their tom brown, but I'm not using beans for my. So it's less for you if you like using beans. You can use beans if you don't want to use beans. You can use it use this one like that. You can also put crayfish. It's optional. So anyhow you want your tom brown to look. You can do it so this is it you continue stirring it till you get that brownish color which you want then it, you remove this and put the other ingredients to fry you fry it to oh so this is a, my comb so I'm done frying the millet. So this stage is the stage of pan. So I'm, you are going to be stirring it consistently. Continue stirring it to it get somehow brown to your liking. So I'm not going to be showing you showing you others while frying it. I'm going to be doing that off camera because I don't want my video to be lengthy. I want it to be short so that it's not be boring while washing it so i'm going to be doing all that 
after frying it i'll show you how it look like so this is what i am going to be doing now you continue stirring it consistently stirring it so that it's not get burned okay so i will show you how it looks like when i'm done frying it okay this is the result after frying it all these are fried you can see my granola somehow brown you can see my soya bean somehow brown it's still hot though good and this is my corn and this is my dates why this is my millet all of them are fried so this is how it looks like after frying your ingredients so next what we are going to do now is to mix all together mix all together mix 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 mix, mix before you you take it to your you you mill it so everything will be mixed together You make sure that all are mixed thoroughly before you take it to where you grind it. So this is our Tom Brown is getting ready gradually. So there's nothing big to heal. The next thing is just to blend. Then after blending it, you start using it okay so the next thing I'm going to show you is after grinding it and I will show you the the powdered foam so stay tuned so friends hello friends this is the finishing aspect of the tongue so after grinding it this is what you get and it will be is as large as I don't know but this thing will fool two paint of two paint and this is just it so the next video you are you'll be getting from me is how to make it how to make the pack and how to make the swallow you can use it as a tip now you can use it to make swallow you can use it to make pap so but my aim of doing it is for pap for baby but if you want to use it for swallow you can use it for swallow so this is just the tom brown which we are making so the next thing we are going to do now is to put it inside an air tightening container we are breathing you know, inside if you want to put um, um what do they call it the uh, preservative we can put a, a little quantity of preservative just to make it last a bit but i'm not putting any preservative because we are using it like we are using it immediately so it will not last so no need of me putting any preservative for it so this is what i have for you today if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up subscribe share this video for more recipes so see my next video bye